Bobby, I still remember when Tim and I were the new young guys. <laughs> hmm. Let me um, also welcome you all. Um, let me echo what Tim has said. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. I think as Virginians, we could all perhaps use a group hug. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reflect on a couple of comments that both Chairman Scott, and that, that sounds good, Chairman Scott. Yeah. And then Tim mentioned, mentioned um, uh, Bobby mentioned the work I've been doing on the Intelligence Committee. Um, there are some that have worked on the committee that have said we've reached conclusions. Let me show you. We have not reached conclusions. There is a lot more to come out. And um, there is a reason why this president is terrified of the Mueller report and terrified of the Senate Intelligence Committee report. Because what we owe you, I owe you, is the truth. Yes. Yes. And one of the truths that came out has already come out and I don't think we've made quite enough attention to it, is that what the Russians did, and not just did in 2016, but did in 2017, 18, and are doing in 2019, is there was no group of Americans that were more targeted than African Americans. More targeted in terms of trying to put false information about where and how to vote more targeted in terms of trying to inflame passions around race. And I worry at times because you know, in Virginia, we are proud of our military installations. We spend $716 billion on defense. Russia spends 70 billion. And I worry at times in the 21st century that a lot of the conflict may come not with tanks and ships and guns, but through cyber attacks and misinformation and disinformation. Mm -hmm. And what we saw in 2016, we'll be back and we're going to need to sort through how we use social media and how we communicate with each other. Uh, because oftentimes, passions on either end of the political spectrum are inflamed, not always by Americans, but by frankly foreign <coughs> interests and foreign, foreign bodies. I want to comment on that. I want to comment as well on um, the work, and I was proud to be a co-sponsor, but really it was Tim and Bobby that took the lead in terms of the commemoration of 400 years of initially bringing enslaved people to Virginia and to the so-called New World. May not have been a new world to the native people who were already here. <laughs> but one of the things that is disturbing, and if the commission members could again raise their hands, I, I want to. I'm, 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 yesterday with the commission that shows even as if we need more evidence that we're still not completely playing with the level playing field. Let me just give you one example of this. When we commemorated the European experience, Congress set up a commission and appropriated the term is such funds as necessary. So that means for Europeans, you got kind of an unlimited check. For the Spanish presence in North America, there was appropriated $500,000. For the African American experience, and Bobby and Tim wrote the bill saying such funds as necessary, what came out the other end was a commission with zero dollars. So one of the things I'm committed to do is to see if um, uh, 
friends around the country, uh, businesses that say they want to embrace all of America's history and its diversity. Um, it's one thing to say that, let's see if we put the money where the mouth is. Yeah. In terms Thank of making sure that we Thank you. Thank you. And one of the things that, because Tim and Bobby and I have spent an awful lot of time together over the last nine or 10 days. Um, back when first ran for governor, Tim and I ran for governor, lieutenant governor, Bobby, thank God, was already 